Hi everyone. As you may have noticed, there's been a update to the assignments tool, formerly called Dropbox, where students will hand their work in. So I just want to take you in and show you a couple things, and specifically I wanted to look at categories because I've had a lot of questions about categories. And categories are basically, you know, the units or the modules that the work is organized under inside of your Dropbox. When you want to create a new assignment, you'd click on the blue new assignments button. And it's pretty straightforward. You can give it a title. You can have it grading if you want to have it graded and due dates. You can put instructions in. You can attach documents, videos, whatever to your instructions. You record audio, record video. You can um, give it availability dates, when it starts, when it ends. You can add release conditions if it's for specific groups. But what I really want to just kind of focus in on for a second is I've had a lot of questions here. Categories is a way to organize it, as I said, into kind of units or modules. So you might have units. A lot of high school, high school courses are set up this way, or you might have subject areas and a lot of elementary classes are, are set up this way. If you want to add a new category, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom under the category here and click on New Category. If you want to add a new subject, a new unit, or maybe you have an itinerant teacher that wants to have their own area inside of your assignments drop box, this is where you would do that. So I can add that new category by scrolling to the bottom, clicking on Create, and now that category is, is there. Uh, and then you can continue on, you know, what type of submission is it. I don't really like to mess with these too much. The other thing I wanted to point out is evaluation and feedback. You can add attach rubrics if you have any rubrics created. And if you were a Turnitin user where it scans for plagiarism, that's now under evaluation and feedback. And down at the bottom, clicking on manage Turnitin will get that there for you. Just have to click it and save. And now it'll be scanned for plagiarism. If you want to manage categories in a different way, and I've had a number of questions again about categories, you can go also beside the blue button, click on edit categories, and add categories this way. So I can, from here, I can delete categories, add categories by clicking beside it and then pressing delete. That'll remove a category. Or if I want to add a new category, brings this up, and then you can create. So that's another way you can add your categories. When you're done, you just press close, and when you go into create a new assignment, that category will be there the ones we just created. So I hope that answers any questions you had about the new assignment tool and specifically categories because I did have a lot of questions about that this morning as well. So hope that answers your questions for now and enjoy. Have a great day.